when it comes to properties, there are probably two categories, I would say, that properties can fit to, guaranteed. Those would be fitting the norm and the properties that are more unique. Before I get into them though, if you guys could head down below and hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, stay up to date with all of our content, and hit that like button as well while you're down there, because you might as well. So, obviously, it's a very broad statement of you either fit in or you don't. But let me explain. It's two very different mentalities that you have to have when either buying or selling uh, a property that is in either one of the two categories. If you're looking for something that is more conventional, we'll say, those are properties that are going to be coming on more often in, you know, some higher traffic areas, a lot more subdivision homes, um, things that you could hypothetically go next door and purchase. Obviously no house is the exact same, but they can have similar feels, um, you know, similar layouts, that sort of thing. So the easy part of this from a real estate perspective is we have ample evidence and uh, comparable properties to then say, hey, this, you know, just down the street sold four days ago. That means that this property should be probably around that much, right? You know that you've got buyers because something sold four days ago. There was probably something sold just before that. And things are moving at a constant rate. So from both a seller's perspective and a buyer's perspective, it's kind of more fast paced because the demand is there and the supply is always moving. From the more unique side of things, and it's, again, it's very broad, but the, the easiest way to describe a property that is unique is in contrast to the more standard homes, you cannot go next door to purchase this house. Uh, a prime example would be, we have a listing coming on today, actually, uh, 34 Varden. Go check it out, listed at 899.8. Um, we'll leave a link to it down below, I think, if we have everything set up by the time this goes live. Um, anyway, the last sale on Varden was, I think it was just over a year ago in 2022. And the last sale before that was 2021. People don't move off the street. <laughs> they, they move in to stay for the most part right? Or they're in it for the long haul at the very least. So when it comes to a unique property or something more specific, I guess you could say, from a buyer's perspective, you need to be a lot more patient because if you're looking for something very specific, it might not be on the market right away and you need to wait for it. From the buyer's agent perspective, you got to work harder. <laughs> Um, you got to start, you know, knocking doors, seeing if anyone just happens to want to sell. From a seller's perspective, patience is also needed because you're not just looking for any other buyer. You are looking for a very specific buyer that wants, you know, what your particular home offers. Now, the more from norm you are, the more specific the buyer you require. Um, we had a property that we had listed on Blake Street. Love the sellers, love them to bits, still good friends with them, but it just didn't end up working out because their property was so unique that there was interest in it, but no one was really interested in buying it. They just wanted to come and, you know, look at the home because, wow, look how cool this is. Then... Varden, for instance, is unique in its own way, but it's not so unique that people are just like, wow, I want to go see that. Because, like, the property on Blake Street was, like, 
really cool. <laughs> like it was just, it was different. I still haven't seen a house like it. Um, Varden is a lot more beautiful home. The street does not come up for sale often at all. So on one hand, it's like, okay, it's unique. You might have to wait longer, but at the same time, you, we, there's probably buyers out there who have been waiting for something like this on this street that are now chomping at the bit. So that's all to say <laughs> it can be difficult and you have to have patience when selling a more unique home, but you could also get lucky, right? It's more difficult from a realtor's perspective in the sense that you got to push the ads harder. Finding a price can be difficult just because, like I said, the last sale on Varden was over a year ago. So you got to pull comparables from areas that might not be the exact same, but then adjust the price to make it make sense. But yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of interesting. Figured should let you guys know. Um, is there anything that you think I forgot um, in terms of, you know, a more subdivision -y type home versus something a little bit more unique we'll say but before i let you guys go if you could head down below and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to stay updated with all of our content and hit the like button while you're down there because you might as heck and well that's it for me here today guys have yourselves a good one and i will see you in the next one take care